Hello YouTube family. This is John and you're watching Ridgeview Homestead. All right, so um, let's do a quick little walk around, see where I'm at. For any of you that are new, thank you for joining us. Um, we're at a little over 600 subscribers. That's exciting. Um, we're hoping to uh, gain some more. So let's uh, take a look around. We'll see what I've done so far and what the plan is for getting this finished up. So right here, as you can see, we're in like the main living area. I've got from this slide out here, all the way around, all the way over to here. This is all sanded and prepped and ready to go. We just have to finish taping off the windows and we can start painting. Um, in here, I've sanded this wall here and I've started on the base cabinets, getting all those sanded and prepped. So I have just the top cabinet still and that wall to sand and scuff. And then of course this whole area here. And then going into the master bedroom, I haven't started anything in here. So what we've decided to do is we've decided to focus our energy on this room first. So I'm going to get started today demoing this, uh, taking the cabinets apart, all everything that needs to come apart to take it apart. So we want to start painting in here so we could start using the closet and the drawers and the cabinets to put all of our clothes in. Because right now we're living out of boxes. My plans for this room is, is the shower. I'm going to refinish the shower. It's kind of this, um, I got to fix that door too. It's kind of like a tannish brown faux tile kind of finish and you can see it's just a, a plastic so what I'm gonna do is I got this product you scuff and sand and then you paint on this material and it seals any little cracks crevices and it gives it just a fresh look and it's gonna be white so we're gonna go ahead and do that and just kind of brighten it up and just make it look cleaner it's a little dingy down here um, there's some cracks and just some things I thought about replacing it but a new shower is not cheap. A new shower tub, wall, doors is like almost $1,000. So I just don't have the budget for that. So maybe somewhere down the road we might do that. But for now, we're just going to give it a facelift. Of course, the cabinets and all that stuff will be painted. The walls will be painted. Um, the... The door here is going to be painted. This door was, was, was a missing when we bought it. They put a new door in. So these two doors, this door and this door, they don't match. But uh, gonna, this is the toilet room here. We're going to go ahead and paint in there as well. Just give it an all a fresh look. So anyways, that's the plan. And um, we'll do a little bit of demo today. Try to get this all demoed and uh, start sanding and getting it cleaned up and ready to be painted. So that's what we'll be working on today. So, all right guys, I guess let's get to work. All right, one thing I forgot to mention, but I will mention now. As you can see right behind me, there's refrigerator number one here and refrigerator number two here. Uh, number one works just, just fine on the electricity and gas. This one only works on gas. It won't work on electricity. Um, I don't know if they told us that or not. I guess that's my bad again. New camper owner, you know, whatever. I don't know. The point of this whole thing is, is we're going to have to put a refrigerator in here. A new gas and electric refrigerator is right around a thousand to $1,500. We're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and get either one large refrigerator that just runs on electricity. I know we can't boondock that way. Um, I don't think we're going to really be doing a lot of boondocking. Um, if not, I guess a generator will have to do. Um, so anyways, wanted to let you guys know that. So this will be changing. It's either going to have just one larger fridge, or we might keep this one and then just do another one here, or might take them both out and just put one in maybe with some shelving or something like, like that. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do, but you will definitely see it for sure. The other project that I have to do right down here is the hot water heater. You can see the unit right there. 
I'm gonna be converting that to a instant hot water heater so we will have unlimited hot water. Right now, that is a six gallon tank. A six gallon shower is about, if you're lucky, a five minute shower. So I'm spoiled, what can I say? I am a city boy. I wanna take my 10, 15 minute shower. So I want to get an instant hot water heater. So I ordered one on, on Amazon. I will be doing a full video on the installation of the instant hot water heater and the brand and the research I did I got some great tips from Ben Holler over at Holler Homestead. I will leave his information in the link below. I'm sorry, in the description below. Um, if you don't know who Ben Holler is and the Holler Homestead, I definitely urge you to go and check them out. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave their information in the description below. But uh, yeah, I'll be working on that hopefully in the next week or so. So look forward to that video. Um, I think that's everything. If not, I'll be giving you guys an update throughout the day. We'll be just doing work, you know, so I'll be coming and kind of coming back and forth. I'm just not going to roll video um, for hours on and it's, it, it's being a new YouTuber, it's, um, it's a lot of editing and Stephanie's been doing most of the editing. I shouldn't say most. She's been doing all the editing. So um, I have to learn how to do some of the editing. So in the meantime, um, I'm just gonna be shooting shorter little chunks and we'll be putting it all together. So um, I hope you guys like that. Um, please let us know in the comments below if we're doing a good job still um, or if you need to make any changes and tell us what you think. All right guys, well I'm gonna get ready and get some tools out and get going and we'll shoot some video in a little bit. stuck in there. So I got this one's for the hinge to the door so like those and those are shorter and then these are the hinge to the actual cabinet. And these are for the drawer fronts. And then we got the little clips to hold the drawer shut. And then we got a bag of hinges. All kinds of goodies. Okay, where the hinge goes.
I'll mark this one top left. All right, so I mark these top and left. And then when we paint, we'll just paint, try to paint around that part. And then we can just peel that off. The uh, hinge will go over that and you won't see the unpainted spot. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Arkansas wintry day. It's about 34 degrees outside, partly cloudy, and uh, kind of late afternoon on a Sunday, and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and take this bed apart and get it out. The reason why I'm going to do that is because we've decided we're going to take the carpet out. It's just, I don't know, it's really beat. So I think what we're going to do is that little strip there underneath the closet, that's going to come out. I'm just gonna cut along here like so and leave the carpet underneath just kind of cut around there probably leave the carpet on that little bump out right there I hope you guys can see that um, and then just do the wood flooring up to that at least that's what I'm hoping I'm gonna do I might have to do something different with that I don't know worst case scenario I can cover it with some uh, of the of the vinyl plank flooring so I'm going to get to work on this and uh, I'll shoot a little bit of video of me dismantling this and uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys. Okay so I took the base off and uh, have exposed a little bit of the inner workings here. We can get this piece off right here. Oops sorry. that forward and that comes out like that get that off to the side real quick all right so there is the inner workings 
So the way this slide works is that point right there, follow that line right there, that slides in and out. And it rolls on these little wheels right here and right here. So what I'm gonna have to do is remove the bed and then the flooring, I'm gonna run the flooring right up to here, to this, to this bracket. Um, just gonna leave that little bit of carpet in there and in there. Cause I'd have to unbolt, I'd have to take the whole thing out and we're talking hydraulic lines and all that stuff. And I don't wanna mess with any of this stuff um it's a little bit above my pay grade so i'm just gonna leave it alone we'll just work around it um probably gonna remove the carpet right up here on this slide and on this part right here i'll just leave the carpet off i'll probably leave the carpet on right there um over here we'll remove that little bit of carpet there and then of course all of this it'll be a little bit harder than having to work around the hydraulic unit but I'd have to disconnect the lines. I'd have to um, pump all the air out of, or pump all the fluid out of the line. And then I would have to re-pump it and get all the air out of the lines. And, and that's just, you know, something I really don't want to mess around with. So I'm just going to leave that in place and we'll do our best to work around it. I'll probably have to glue or nail the boards in place to keep them from moving around but you won't see it, so it won't be a problem. And then of course the little wheels right there will ride along the wood floor. So um, I'll keep on working on this and we'll show you a little bit along the way. I gotta take a look and find out where all the screws are and everything. I think it's just fastened. There's a couple of screws. There's one right there, one right there, one right there, and so on. The only problem is, is I don't think I can get this bed out of here. So I think I'm gonna have to take it apart. And as you can see, it's all stapled together. So I wish it was screwed together. I mean, maybe there's some screws underneath this siding material, whatever it is that they use, we'll call it wood. Um, so maybe I'll try to peel the ends off without damaging it. That's what I'm, I'm concerned about. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna take this apart yet. I'm gonna try to remove it and try to slide it out of here. So we'll try that first and then worst case scenario, I'll have to take it apart. But I know it'll slide out there into the main room. It'll fit through the, the door there because you gotta be able to get a mattress through here. So I know the width will, will uh, fit. So fingers crossed, we'll get it out. Out of here. Those are some big old screws. Put that in my baggie and mark it. Let's see if that loosened it up. All right, yep. Yeah. Look at that. We're loose. We're free. It's a little, it's a little wiggly. I think it's going to be too tall to stand it up. Hmm. Let's see here. This ought to be interesting.
wedged over there. So, hmm, let's see here. Maybe we can pivot it this way. Right, I'll put you down over here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So far, nothing super funny happened yet. Except that I got it wedged. That's the only funny thing. It probably built this sucker in place. Yep, success guys, we got it. Woohoo! All right, so now it'll fit out the door. Got plenty of room on top and it should just go right out. And then I'll have to figure out either A, disassemble it or B, paint it in the main part of the camper. Hopefully it'll fit in there. I don't see why it wouldn't. But anyways, so there. Got a lot more room to work. I'll start a little bit of demo on the carpet and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Well, I got some progress done. Got some cuts around here done and around there. Got it all cut out around here, all the way around. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the little bump out there. Um, gotta clean up that little piece of carpet back here. And uh, I could feel some cold air coming in through. This is a hollow pipe, so I'll probably seal that off. And I have two different height floors here. So almost a finger's width. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, try to fill that in or put some filler or something and kind of make like a transition. I guess that's why they have carpet here. I don't know why they did two different thicknesses of floor. I wasn't planning on pulling the vinyl floor out. I was just gonna put the new vinyl floor right over the existing, but it looks like I might have to take it out. So, can of worms guys, can of worms. But, in the end, it'll look great. Well, it looks like I opened up a can of worms in here. But, you know, all the hard work I think will pay off and it'll look like a brand new camper when it's done. And uh, we're not sure how long we're going to live in here. It could be a year, could be longer, could be shorter. So we just want to make it really nice, really special, and just really enjoy the space. And that's why we're doing what we're doing. So tomorrow we'll hit it again. All right, guys, good night and we'll see you in the morning. Okay, well, it's the next morning. I got all the carpet tore out. Stayed up a little bit late, and I guess I forgot to hit the record button. Sorry, guys. But, you know, hey, it's just tearing out some carpet, so I don't know how much fun that would have been. This board was right here. It just fell off when I was uh, taking the carpet off. But just gotta just throw a couple of screws in there, it'll be fine. Not a big deal. Well, thanks. That's a little bit of uh, what's John been doing in the camper. So uh, we'll do a little bit more work and we'll bring you back and show you what we've been doing. I promise I'll try to shoot some video today of me actually working. But uh, thanks guys for watching as always and uh, we'll see you in a little bit.